Welcome to 2024, Divine Fam. I just felt called to share a New Year's Day message with you while I'm sitting here on this cloudy afternoon. You may hear my coffee brewing in the background and just really inspired to share with you the outlook for 2024 for those of you who have been doing the work. And so there's different waves and phases of the journey. And so this may not resonate with you yet, but you still may want to listen because this is what's in store. If you take full accountability and take your power back on this journey. So for those of you that have been doing the work and opening your heart and integrating your shadow and really integrating your sacred masculine energy, there has been a lot of transformation. This year, at least six months to a year of transformation occurring in the collective. Lots of alchemizing, you know, old conditioning, limited belief systems, past traumas, really coming into wholeness. And there's been a lot of integrating the three lower chakras which are highly masculine dominant chakras, which is if you're resonating as a divine feminine on this journey, you likely have very overactive higher chakras, but not fully integrated lower chakras. And so there's a lack of groundedness and a lack of being able to take up space and own your worth and feel worthy. And this has been a process. You've likely been guided to isolation and having a lot of alone time and finding peace in this solitude. And this has been a very important phase of the journey. This has been your cocoon for the last six to 12 months, at least for most of you, if you're resonating with this phase, you've been cocooning and really going inward and going deep, deeper than you've ever gone before all of your fears, all of your shame, all of your guilt, looking at all of it consciously, courageously, and opening your heart space while fully integrating your lower chakras so that the energy can truly flow into your heart space and begin to open. And all of this work, a lot of integrating sacred masculine energy, has allowed to has allowed you to really start to open into your feminine essence and blossom. And so 2024 is where you're going to spread your wings. You're the butterfly. You have spent your time in the cocoon and it's been isolating and it's been often dark and it's been painful and it's been worth it because you are now emerging rebirthed transformed as the butterfly ready to spread your wings and 2024 is going to be about fully stepping into your divine power which you're already doing but fully opening to receive opening to receive in all areas of your life things are going to be showing up in your life in beautiful divinely guided ways things that you've never expected things that are fulfilling you on a deep level and this is going to be in the area of what you do how you know for work or how you creatively express yourself relationships money will be showing up to you in a new way to support you this is just all around 360 you fully taking stepping into your divine sovereignty and taking your power back and realizing all the places in the past where you've compromised and you've self-sacrificed and you, you know, you didn't have the courage to stand up for yourself or you silenced your voice or you stayed in relationships long after their expiration because of this underlying worthiness, lack of worthiness, that is no more as you fully begin to embody your feminine essence. I call this your empress energy, your empress energy, your goddess energy, 
You are the sovereign ruler of your life and moving forward in 2024, you're going to see so many things filling in your experience with beauty and abundance and love and prosperity. And not because you need it, not because you're looking for it, not because you're trying to figure it out. None of that. That's all old energy and you've transmuted that. You are no longer in alignment with old energies that are run predominantly by distorted masculine energy or your egoic will. You are fully, fully aligning with the divine will with a renewed sense of purpose, a renewed sense of sharing your gifts with the world, uh, being able to show up authentically and share your your voice and your speak your truth. Like this is all manifesting for you as a result of the inner union that you're experiencing within yourself, fully, fully embodying your masculine energy and, and taking up space and speaking your truth and having healthy boundaries and healthy standards and not discounting and sacrificing your own needs. And this foundation that you've built for yourself by going inward and doing the work and being brave and courageous and facing your shadows and facing your fears head on has now allowed you to begin to awaken and fully blossom into your divine feminine energy. In 2024, you're, you're taking it back out into the world. You know, you've been cocooning and going inward for so long and there's so much wisdom uh, gained and you're so much more powerful and strong inwardly and externally. And this is now being shared in some way with the world through your light that is now emanating and will continue to expand. There's no end to this. This this isn't like it's a never end endless healing journey, but this is a never endless expansion journey. This is where the light within you gets to expand and play and create and you get to move into fully being self-actualized in your most divine, authentic expression in this lifetime. And there's no end to this creation process that you get to play in, in this 3D reality. So you're going to get to expand into beautiful areas that you've never experienced before in your life, in all different areas of your life. And your ability to surrender to the process and trust life and trust yourself and trust divine and know that you're being guided and feel okay in the unknown as you rest in your divine presence without the need to figure it out, without the need to know the outcome, without the need, you know, to manipulate situations or circumstances. No, no, no. You're doing this the divine feminine way now. There's the old patterns, the old ways, the old energies no longer resonate through your divine flow and grace and your expression, you emanate a much higher frequency and your external world reflects this back to you and is beginning to reflect this back to you. And you're, you're moving forward doing this the divine feminine way now, not through force, not through efforting, not through hard work, not to say that action isn't taken. Yes, action, sacred masculine action is taken on this journey. And sometimes there's just nothing but inspired action pouring through you, creative expression and, and translating that divine feminine energy into something tangible. And it's it's just pouring through you. And you, you can't not create, you can't not take action because it's just so divinely guided. Now your actions are in the flow. Now they're aligned with your feminine, your inner, your intuition, and your inner knowing. There's no more forcing. There's no more needing to fit yourself into a box in order to make people happy. You know, pretzeling yourself to be a certain way. Twisting yourself into all of these distortions in order to people please 
and overgive. Like none of that is happening. None of that is happening because you are fully coming into your power. And so this is a very exciting time. And I just want to say that if you are newer to the journey and you're going through dark night of the soul and the obsessive addictive energy and you're just kind of tail spinning and you're feeling lost and alone and isolated and afraid and scared and so much is shifting and so much is changing and you're just feeling lost and again dark night of the soul is is no joke it's no joyride and it is essential it is a part of the breaking down of the old structures that no longer serve you internally and allowing yourself to build on a new foundation. And so this destruction, that these tower moments, this death that dark night of the soul represents, right? This transformation process is very much you know, your dark feminine energy that you're embracing and it's very much part of the journey. This is rooted in cycles of death and rebirth. And so when everything feels like it's crumbling and things are not working out and it's a very painful and there's a lot of suffering, this is part of the part of the process and part of the journey, but know that it's not forever. You will emerge and you will be wiser and you will be stronger, and you will be more resilient, and you will be more in your authenticity as a result. And if you are resonating with that phase of the journey, then I am going to link some videos after this that speak directly to that, that I think you may find very interesting. And, and of course, if you're listening to this and you're resonating with any phase of this journey, and you just feel like you want support and you're ready to go deeper to fully step into your power and really embody your divine feminine essence and claim your worthiness and you're ready to break those cycles of pain and suffering and really start to co-create the life that is meant for you then embody the empress is my divine femme monthly immersion you can check that out below this video or wherever you're listening to this. I would love to have you and it would be an honor to be a guide on your journey. Namaste.